everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle with Creative Operations and Country Craft Creations, and I have a design team project to share with you. This is the second project that I've made using Farmhouse Summer by Cartabella. This is available at Country Craft Creations, so you can go to countrycraftcreations.com or check the link below to go specifically to this collection. It's a really great collection, and I have enjoyed it you know, using it. Um, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, um, I'm showing you the, the page from the 12 by 12 pack, but actually for this one, I did use the six by six paper collection that I did receive in my design team package. And we're going to make a really cute little mini album that is fast to make. It's a great little last minute gift, and you can make a ton of these with very little paper. And I'm calling it my one and a quarter sheet wonder mini album because it really does only use one 12 by 12 page and a piece that is four by 12 so uh, very easy to put together but let's go through and i'll show you what it is and then we'll go ahead and i'll show you how to make the actual base of the album so this album measures three and a half by six so it's a nice size album it fits three by four photos perfectly and this is a meander album if you remember those where you take a piece, one solid piece of paper, you score it, you cut it, and you fold it up, and it makes an album. Well, I wanted to make one a little bit bigger, and that's where the quarter sheet comes in because I did add to it just a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. But it's a really cute album um, to make, and again, it, it accommodated six by six paper, so I did use that from the collection. Um, I used one piece of paper on the front and the back with the barn doors here, and then I used strips that were left over to kind of um, take the gap because this is three and a half wide, and used an edge punch to just kind of create kind of a, a spine for the book, so to speak, because the spine here is really just glued together. Um, on the front, I used some chipboard pieces that I had in my collection. And then what I did was I layered the flowers over this um, piece here. And then I put one of the little enamel dots in the middle of the flower, gave it a little bit of a dimension. Used a seam binding closure. I used dark olive drab. And then this is deep navy um, seam binding. So it's just a simple tie. And then when you open it up, you have these beautiful pages. And again, I just use six by six papers. And the first page here is just, I left blank with this beautiful blue check pattern. There is a cut apart here, or not a cut apart, a um, ephemera piece that I had in the pack. And then I used two enamel dots there. And then you can slip a picture right underneath there. Then you have a pocket page. And I use scraps left over from making the album to create tags. Okay, so it's blank on one side and have the pattern paper on the other. I got in my stash and I used some eyelets here and then just tied a ribbon through and it just slips into this pocket really nicely. So you can have an extra place to put journaling or more pictures or whatever. You turn it over, here's some barn um, weather vanes and a little uh, banner piece that I just glued up here. You can tuck a picture under here. Then this page here is a side opening pocket and in that side opening pocket, I just put a piece of the scrap paper with some three by four cut aparts on, left the inside open. You could put pictures or journaling in there. So that just slips into there and it kind of creates another flap. So you could do it on this side or you could do it on the other side, whichever way you prefer. And then here, I used one of the ephemera pieces and I just glued it on the two sides to create a pocket. And then here was a three by four um, a cut apart or a journaling card, I should say. And I just trimmed it down just a little bit so that it was two and a half by four. And then I added an eyelet and some more seam binding and just made a little tag out of it and left the back like that. So this came, those came in the six by six paper collection. So then here's that flip again. So you could do it on either side, another ephemera piece. And I just glued it on the bottom to create a little tuck spot. This is a three by four cut apart that I just rounded the corners on. So just like that, another pocket page. And I just did a simple angle on it and another tag using leftovers with another eyelet and my seam binding. So it made a cute little fluffy bow. And you can make this and you can add all kinds of things to it. I kind of kept it flat and plain on the inside. 
but you could add all kinds of things to it because who cares if it gets chunky? That's part of the charm of this album. You can make it chunky and um, have a lot of uh, embellishments, pictures, whatnot in here. Another ephemera piece and another tag that I cut down to create a little tag. So there is the album, super simple to put together, uses up your scraps. And um, so if you had the, just the 12 by 12 pack and you had scraps, this is perfect to use those up with. If you have the six by six paper, perfect for that too. So let's go through and I'll show you how I did it. So you only need two pieces of paper. I'm gonna get my scoreboard and I'm gonna get my papers. So um, for the model here, I'm gonna be using um, some natural artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. I used white in this one. Um, so you need one and a, it's a one and a quarter sheet micro mini uh, meander album. And you're going to need one piece that's 10 and a half by 12 and then two pieces that are four by six. And that's all you're going to need for this album. So the first thing you're going to do is take your 10 and a half by 12, put it in your scoreboard. And we're going to score it at three and a half and at seven. That'll give you three panels up here and three panels here once we get this middle score that are three and a half by six. We're going to turn it after we do those scores on the 12 and we're going to score it down at six. And then the two four by six pieces, you're going to simply put them in your scoreboard and you're going to score at one half and that's going to create the tab to attach them. So once you get both of those scored, we'll get rid of our scoreboard here and do a little prep work. So this is pretty easy to do. So I'm just doing this and I got to show you, I got to show you my new little trick that I did. Um, I, you know how I'm constantly like putting my scoreboard over to the side and then sometimes it falls down. <laughs> well, I went to the Dollar Tree and I got two napkin holders and I zip tied them together. And now this kind of sits at the side of my desk and it has, it's a basically kind of a holder for my scoreboard. And now I have, so far, now I'm not saying it's not gonna happen, but so far I haven't dropped my scoreboard on my desk when I've been using that. So that was kind of a fun thing to do. All right, so then what we're gonna do is you're going to cut that six inch mark just through two of these panels. You're gonna leave this one intact. So where you're just gonna take your scissors and cut up, if I can see the score line, just cut right up the score line through that first three and a half inch score and through the second. And we're gonna leave this one intact here, okay? Like that. Then we're gonna fold and burnish these and then we're gonna attach them to this panel here and that's gonna lengthen this out. For this to work and have the number of pockets that we had, we had to add something a little bit longer to make kind of four panels on the top and on the bottom. So I'm just gonna glue those down just like that. So I just put glue on the tabs of my addition pieces, okay? Like so. And then we're gonna do this. Now this is not, you know, a new technique. This has been around forever and ever and ever. You can do this with a 12 by 12 paper. Um, there's all kinds of different ways to do this. Um, but I wanted something a little bit bigger. Um, so that's why I ended up doing this. All right. Okay, so now that we have our longer piece here, so then we just have to fold it. So this here, we're gonna start at the top. This is gonna become the front cover. And you're just gonna simply accordion fold back and forth across the top, okay? And then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna flip that up like this, okay? And then do again an accordion fold, okay? So once you do all of that, you should have a piece that looks kind of like this, okay? So it does look a little wonky, but we're gonna glue it together, and then we're going to 
um, cut our slants for our pockets here. So these are going to be the slanted um, edge pockets. And then this here, when we glue it, will be the side pocket to add your little insert. And that's really all there is to it. So let's go ahead and glue these together. So if we do our front cover, let me grab a pencil here. So we're going to do, this is our front here. Okay. So when we open it up, this is going to be our angled pocket. So you're going to cut an angle here. So let's get our ruler. We're going to measure one and a half inches down. Okay. Make a little tick. And then what I did was I just drew a line with my pencil. All right. And did that. Now before I glue it down, and this is, this is, I did this because then I don't get confused about what to glue either. So that was kind of helpful. So once you draw that line, we measured an inch and a half down from the top. We're just going to simply cut that off. Okay. So you're cutting through both of the layers. I should show you that. Okay. Cause that's going to get glued together to make the pocket. And we're just going to cut that right up. Okay. Just like that. We're going to do it for both of them. So there's the slant pocket. And then you have the middle pocket that will be the side opening pocket. So the slant here is going to be the side opening piece once we glue it. And then you have this piece here that's going to end up being the slanted pocket. And then you have your back cover. So we're going to do the same thing. Now you can use this as a guide if you want. And make your tick. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just putting the edge to the edge. And then that way you only have to kind of measure once. It's a little, little trick. Okay, and then draw my line. And this is really, it's really quick to put together too. And it's fun. This is cute. It's fast. No chipboard. There we go. So... We have our two slant pockets, okay? So now we've got our cutting done, and you should have something that kind of looks like this, okay? Hope that's visible, all right? So then this will help because now what we can do is we can go here. Here's our slanted pockets here. We're just gonna glue the edges closed. So I'm just gonna grab my glue and put a little bead here and a little bead here in the edge. And then we're gonna fold it over. And press it down and I should grab my eraser because you don't want your pencil marks showing right there you go okay so that's glued together now you have your slanted pocket okay so then the next pocket needs to be glued if you open it up kind of backwards. So here's the front of your album, okay? If you open it up like this, okay? Try not to confuse you. So we're gonna have this piece here is going to be the middle pocket. So we have to put glue here and here to open that middle pocket to the side. So just a little quick bead of glue here. I'm sorry, I've only had one cup of tea today. I guess I need more. It's, uh, I don't even think it's 7 o'clock in the morning here yet. So, I need more tea, I think. Okay, so there's your side pocket. Okay, and then here's your last pocket that we need to glue. Okay, so we'll go here. And this is the angled pocket. Just like that, little bead of glue. And we wanna to try to keep it as close to the edge as far as the glue goes because then you have, you know, you won't close up your pocket. Um, you should be able to put a good three inch wide tag in here, um, but do measure and make sure, okay? So, there's your front, there's your slanted pocket for your tag. Here's your middle pocket here for a pull out. And then here is your slanted pocket here, and then your back cover. And there you go, you're done. So the other thing that 
we need to do, and let's make sure that our pockets are cut even. Okay. So now the other thing we uh, wanted to share with you is that um, how to put the pattern paper, how to cut it for your slanted pockets. Okay. So these pages are three and a half by six. So to cover the, the rectangle pages, I just cut it at three and three eighths by five and seven eighths and you're done. Okay. So three and five, uh, three and three eighths by five and seven eighths. And that will cover your page and give you a nice little border around. But what do you do when you want to do the slanted page? So what I did was I went ahead and, you know, I cut the page. So if, if it was a regular page, you just lay it down. But what I did was I, I raised it up. So when you cut it an eighth of an inch short, you're going to have 16th inch on all the sides. I raised it up about an eighth of an inch from the bottom here because what we're going to do is we're going to hold that and flip it over and then I drew a line on the back of the paper I want to cover, okay, at, right at the edge of my pocket, okay? So then I'm going to cut that off. like so. And then this should, if you line it back up on your page, give you that nice 16th inch all the way around because we raised it up an eighth of an inch to cut the line, but then we're going to push it back down so that all of the borders match and you have a nice matting on all four sides. So that's how I did that. The one thing to remember is that you do need to do this. So this is for this pocket and then you'll just use the pattern or, you know, um, you can use the pattern paper to cut your second piece to get the angle perfect. Now, I, if you deviate with your cutting a little bit on the other pocket, this may not work for this pocket. So you may have to do the process again for the second pocket. But this one I think I did pretty good because I actually used the cutout piece to use um, to make sure I got the same distance. But on this one here, I was off just a little bit, so it didn't quite work. So I had to measure for both pockets individually. I hope that makes sense. But um, that's how I did that. And then basically just went to town with little, you know, tags and little ephemera pieces and all kinds of stuff. And then, you know, of course, I kept it kind of simple, but you could, you could chunk this up as much as you wanted to. So that is my project for my quarter sheet micro mini meander album. And I'm using Cartabella's Farmhouse Summer Paper Collection with artisan cardstock. And in my, in my album right here, I used white artisan cardstock. In the demo here, I used ivory. And then I used, um, again, Cartabella's Farmhouse Summer Paper Collection. It comes with all kinds of different options for um, ephemera, for cut, um, chipboard pieces. There's um, stickers that come in the 12 by 12 packs. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. And so the link's below on getting this paper collection. The seam binding is dark olive drab and deep navy that I used. Um, I just thought it was really pretty with this collection. And there you go. So let me know if you have any questions and um, I hope you enjoy making this quick little project. It's really fun to do. So thanks for watching. Have a really crafty day and I will see you again soon with another tutorial. Bye-bye.